Welcome back to part three of the Facebook ads guide to get online coaching clients. I'm going to be showing you how to actually now go build out the ad sets, which is the targeting to go and reach further and wider with your campaign so you can actually go and get more clients. If you haven't already, go back and watch the past training video where I actually when I showed you how to put together the ad, the images, the copy, everything there. And there's a ton of training also on that on this channel. So if you want to go deeper into that stuff, go over to my channel, go and check out the Facebook ad playlist and I go through how to write copy and all that kind of stuff as well. So if you're ready, we're gonna get started right now. Now, before I jump into my screen, what I wanna go through first is one key thing. Okay, we've gone through, we've built a campaign, right? We've got a sales funnel, we've got everything ready. We've created our first ad. Now, what we now need to do is realize that we can't just go and assume that this one interest and this one targeting and this one everything is gonna hit a home run out the gate. Okay, the thing with ads is all about testing. Okay, very important thing. I want you to write that down. Ads is all about testing. Playing the game of ads isn't about going out there thinking you're gonna get this one hit wonder. That's exactly how I started in 2015. I, I launched my first ad. In fact, I didn't launch an ad the right way. I just boosted a post. And I just started targeting people and loads of different interests that I thought would work. But little did I know that I didn't test and try to find the right hooks, the right angles, the right images or anything. I just assumed that one thing's going to work and never make an assumption with advertising. You always need to be testing. So we're gonna dive over to my screen. I'm gonna show you how we need to look at these now before we go out and actually publish this ad and get it live. Okay, so what we did is we've gone and, we've gone and created our, our first ad. So we've created one of these, right, straight through. Now what we need to do is we need to make more of these. We need to make duplicates of these. So a couple of things we, we can do. First thing is we can create more ads, right? So we're not just testing one image and one ad angle or one piece of copy. We can test multiple in the same, at the same time. So let me just show you how to do that first. So we're just gonna pretend for a moment that everything is good with this one that we built in the last training and we like it. Let's say now, so it's all scheduled, it's in review, we're waiting for it to get published. What we can then do is duplicate this. Now, it's best practice to, to test a couple different angles and ads when you're starting out, right? Because we don't know what's gonna work yet, so we can't assume anything. So the best thing to do would be create a second one. We're gonna call this angle two. And then what we're going to do here is we're just going to write another piece of copy, okay? We're just gonna upload some different copy here that that fits the criteria of the targeting and, and everything else that we want to do. All right, so that, that's what we want to do here. And once we're happy, we've got a new angle, we're going to have two in here. Okay, so we'll have two ad angles that we are testing to see what's going to work. So that five pound budget, right, that, that five pound budget that we've that we've set up, is going to be distributed evenly between angle one and angle two. So angle one and angle two is just another me way of me saying the, cop the first style and second style of ad. And so it's going to then compete with one another to decide which one is the best. And that's a great thing, right? Because that means we can now find which ad performs the best and we can start using that in more places. Now, because we're starting out, we still only have one interest. We're only targeting chief executive officer as our interest. That's not enough for us to really get in our data to know is this is it the interest that's working or is it the ad? So what we now need to do, okay, we've got two different angles here. Let's imagine it's published. What we now need to do is we need to build out more ad sets, okay? So this one here in the middle, which is where we are now, we're in the middle. We need to duplicate this and we want to build out two or three more. Depending on how much you have to spend, right? Let's say your budget is 20 pounds a day, $20 a day, um, you can do four ad sets at $5 each, five, 10, 15, 20, right? So you're gonna have four different ad sets, which means you can target four different interests and you're gonna have a total of eight ads, right? Angle one, angle two. Okay, you still with me? Basic maths, this is as good as I get at math. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So we're gonna have four different ad sets and we're gonna have two angles or ads for each of those. So we're gonna have eight different ads running at the same time. So we just duplicated once, and I'm gonna show you, this, let's just imagine, we're gonna change this targeting. See how it turns this back on? Always check this, Facebook is sneaky. They'll go and like change the detail targeting expansion. So we're gonna to go to edit. So we've done chief executive officer. Now we can go to suggestions, and it's gonna find our similar ones. 
right? Now you can see here, it's got job titles. I personally wouldn't start off with job titles as too small of a target because look, if we go like this, it's going to shrink that down to a very small size once I get rid of chief executive officer, okay? Well, actually it hasn't, so I like it. Oh wait, we've got that ticked, so what's gonna happen? It's gonna go right back down to nothing, okay? So it's too small. So I don't like that. So we wanna stick with interests as we're starting off. Behavior is as well, they, they're quite good. We can see how that's going to look. But again, we always wanna also do one interest targeting. Do not stack five or six different ones in there. Big mistake and you're probably wondering why, why can't I do loads of different ones if it all fits? Because you're not gonna know what's working, okay? And the idea of ads is we, wanna, we only wanna change one variable at a time and we wanna test as, uh, as many different things as possible. So if we've got small business owners, CEO, entrepreneur, marketing director, if we have them all in one hit, in one interest, and then we launch this ad and it works, we'll be going, hmm, well, what actually worked? Was it, was it the marketing? Was it business owners? Was it CEO? Which one worked? So we only wanna test one at any given time, especially when we're starting out. As you get more advanced, you can stack them and you can exclude and narrow targeting. But for starting out, just doing one interest is the best way. And you got here, look, 2.1 million. I like that. As I said, half a million to 2 million, maybe the other one went up to 4 million, that's fine with me. But it's in a good range, so we're gonna just go and change that out, and, and that's that. And because we've already created angle one and angle two, we don't have to recreate it, okay? For simplicity, I'm not gonna overwhelm you with some ninja stuff that we do. I'm just gonna show you that, that's that, that's done now. We don't have to do anything else because Facebook's copied over the Facebook, uh, Instagram placement, so we don't have to mess around there. Uh, you will see that it's also got angle one and angle two already added in. Okay, so if we go into that one there, you're gonna see angle one and angle two. And you're also gonna see three, you're gonna see three. Wow, I'll tell you why, because we haven't published the other one yet. So don't freak out if you go and you're like, well, why has this one got three and this one's got, this one's got three as well, or four now? Because when it's in drafts, it, it, it just sits there. So it's always, when it's done, publish it. It's gonna give it a few seconds. And when it's published, you're gonna see that each angle now has two ads. Okay, we're just doing basic math. I'm not gonna get any more complicated than this. Okay, so we've got, let's go from the top. So we've got one campaign. Okay, this is our, our cold campaign. I'm actually gonna rename this cold because we're gonna go into some retargeting next training. So it's a cold campaign, meaning we're just targeting people that <clears throat> aren't, uh, that we don't know, that they're completely cold to us and who we are. We're gonna name what we are targeting, what, what the objective is. Um, it's a conversion campaign. You can add conversion in the name if you want. So if you wanted to go a little bit deeper than what I've done here, you can actually call this conversions. When you start launching other campaigns as well, you might start doing ones where you call them video views and stuff like that. You won't do that when you're starting out, okay? So don't do that now. And then we've got two ad sets, okay? Ad sets. And then each ad set has got two images, uh, two ads, okay? Add one. Okay, all right, it's not playing ball, so just hit refresh. I'm happy everything's happening like this because what happens is you start freaking out if you start seeing things disappear. This is the way Facebook is, so just hit refresh and then boom, everything's gonna be fine. Um, no worries, okay, so refresh, good. It's disappeared now, magic. So that's the first one, <coughs> excuse me, and then we're gonna have um, an ad, two ads in the second one. Okay, that's it, okay, it's taking a minute to load. Let me just pause this. Okay, that's it. Then we're gonna have the second one, the first one that we created. So that's gonna have two ad sets as well. So we've got one campaign, two ad sets, four ads total so far. And you keep doing this, you keep duplicating this and changing out the interest until you reach the daily budget that you are willing to spend. Okay, so let's say, again, that budget for you is $20 a day or 20 pounds a day. You could test four different interests at five pounds each or five dollars each and that's going to hit your daily budget now the idea of course is that you spend money on this you put them through this proven sales process this funnel that i said you can get from our um, oce platform and if you want to get the free trial for that i'll put that link in the description you've got that proven funnel and then you're going to capture those leads and i'm going to show you in the next training how you know what we need to be doing as well and then 
we're going to um, successfully spend that money and then we're gonna make it back because we're gonna get people on the phone, we're gonna sell a program for a thousand or two thousand pounds. Okay, so our 20 pounds a day becomes a 10x return or 20x or whatever it is when we ever, whenever we make that sale. But that's how we launch our campaigns. Okay, so we've gone campaign level, ad set level, and then we've created ads. Now we're letting the Facebook algorithm go and push this out there to show it to, to people that we've asked Facebook to show it to within that range of people, half a million to two million or so. And then they're, they're gonna then send people back into our funnel that are most likely to opt in and show interest. They're gonna then book a call and then you're gonna be able to work your magic and get them on the call and sell them to your program. That's how you're gonna do it. That's how Facebook ads work. So you literally can sit back and watch leads come rolling in. And what I'm gonna do in the next video is I'm gonna go into some retargeting. I'm gonna to touch on how to also retarget all these people and then also um, what you wanna be doing once you have these leads, okay? You wanna be putting them through a proven uh, process to get them converted into clients. So I'm gonna show you how to manage that side of the business as well. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up so the algorithm shows this to more people. Subscribe to the channel as well to, to see more training videos just like this. And go and check out my playlist on Facebook advertising. I go deeper into some of the other things that we're not covering in this particular guide. So check that, that Play this out. I'll link to it in the description as well. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.